Hey yo, I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again today with another toy review. Today we're taking a look at a character from the G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra line. And we have Destro, the weapon supplier. Pretty cool looking uh, just box art here. So nothing too special about it though. But we're going to go ahead and open this thing up and do a quick review for y'all. So stick around. Here we have Destro, the weapon supplier. Pretty nice card art. Um, this one is a little less like the actual movie itself. Um, it's more of a stylized version as far as the artwork goes, but it still looks pretty good. Uh, the figure inside looks really nice also. Flipping it over to the back, we've got, again, file card, traditional Jai Joe blurb, some of the other characters from the movie series. But other than that, pretty basic. We're going to go ahead and just uh, tear into this thing because I want to see the figure. Oop. That jumped on me a little bit, but that's all right. And of course, don't forget about the, your crazy insert. The rest of this can go packaging, recycling material. So let's see what our insert is for this figure. Uh, this is the Night Raven again. Seen it before, so not that impressed anymore, but it's uh, still a nice painting. And again, the, uh, the back side has some additional merchandise stuff. Uh, one thing I will point out here is this uh, Mr. Potato Head G.I. Joe Snake Fries. I don't remember seeing that. And that's making me laugh. So, that's funny. Anyways, we're not here to talk about Mr. Potato Head or Snake Fries. We're here to look at Destro. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull this out. We've got a weapon that just fell apart <laughs> with me pulling it out of the package. Um, his assault rifle is uh, a two-part piece here, so connect it back together and you're fine. <laughs> we'll look at that a little bit later on. Uh, the crazy rubber band goes in the trash also. The figure. Pretty nice looking sculpt. We'll do a close-up here in a minute. Uh, we've got a little pistol up here in the corner. It's taped in. Let's cut the tape off of that. Pretty standard uh, little pistol that we've seen in other figures. Then we have another little... Uh, smaller weapon that wants to attack me so pretty cool we have this crazy rocket launcher thing um, firing mechanisms red button on top pretty good uh, the actual fireball here is nice. They've uh, painted it at least to have some, you know, variations in the color. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but again, it's one of these uh, really weird, big, oversized guns that don't make a lot of sense to me. Then we've got the figure stand. Pretty cool looking. So there we are. We'll go ahead and uh, zoom in now and take a closer look at all these things and. Let us take a look at the figure stand first. Uh, this is the traditional dog tag version of the stand. Destro on the front. Got a place you can put a chain in it. And then the Cobra emblem on the back. So, pretty straightforward. Nothing too special. 
Uh, I was taking a look at this big oversized cannon so I can get it out of the way. Um, it's got some nice detail work on it. Again, the firing mechanism works pretty well. The actual fireball missile thing has some nice detail work on it also. Uh, and overall, it's not a bad cannon. Uh, it's just, I don't really see the point in having all these big, huge cannon things. Um, but that's uh, the thing with these particular gimmicky things that they attach to these and... I don't know, they, we'll see how well this thing works. So you can get it in his hand pretty easily. And his other hand can grab it, but it's just really cumbersome. So I don't really see that he would be using it too much in battle. Uh, I do like the ones that make it a shoulder-mounted cannon. It makes more sense to me anyways. But uh, this one's just a regular big cannon thing, so... Uh, let's move on and take a look at the weapons. We've got this one here, the small hand cannon thing. Pretty cool looking. Some nice detail work on it. And then we've got the small hand pistol. Nice detail work as well, but uh, it's again small so you can't see a whole lot with it. And then we've got his uh, larger assault weapon which does break apart as we noticed when we were taking it out of the packaging. It's got this nice little uh, peg system here so you just uh, slide it in the slot and it attaches together so pretty cool. We'll move on to the figure itself. Uh, overall this is a nice looking sculpt. I do like the more uniform look that he's got here. Uh, it is a little bit oversized, but all in all, it works for Destro. Uh, the head mask sculpt here is a little dull. I would have liked to have seen a little bit shinier metal version, but uh, I can understand why they did it this way. Uh, in the actual movie, it wasn't quite as shiny chrome. So overall, this works pretty well for what it is. I do like the fact that you can see underneath here he's uh, wearing a tie, so he's pretty nice. Uh, articulation wise, his head does rotate 360 degrees, but uh, the collar on his jacket does limit his movement, so you can only go about halfway there. But still, it works well for what it is. Uh, shoulder joints, standard articulation there, same thing at the elbows. And then he just has the swivel at the wrist, so no rocker joint or anything like that. Uh, the waist joint has the standard articulation, ab crunch, and swivel, so nice there. Standard T-hooks at the uh, hip joints. His bottom part of his jacket does limit the articulation there a little bit, not too drastically. He does have uh, double knee joints and a swivel and rocker at the ankles. So all in all, really good articulation on this figure. Uh, the detail work on it is uh, really good, actually. He's got some nice uh, little doodads going on in his belt. You can see all the little holes and everything and uh, a nice holster for his pistol. And on his shoulder, you've got this cool popped collar. And he's got the, uh, I don't know what you actually call those, but the little things that you can put ranks and things on for the jacket there. So, all in all, really nice. Does have the Cobra symbol on his sleeve. The boots are really cool looking as well. They do have some nice gold accents in a couple of spots. So that actually works really well for him. Um, as far as the weapons go, again, he's got a holster for his pistol, so that is really awesome. I always appreciate it when you've got a place to stick pistols. They are sidearms, not primary weapons most of the time. Also point out that on his sides, he's got uh, a couple of these peg holes. Those are for the rest of these weapons, so as you notice here... 
Uh, the collapsible weapon here has two pegs, one on each of the pieces. So what you can do here is uh, peg a piece to each side. And he can carry that crazy weapon with him. This one is a little trickier to peg in, but so, so therefore he's got uh, the ability of carrying that big weapon in pieces. And then he can take his uh, regular pistol weapon thing and carry it in his hand and go shooting people with it. If I can get it to go in there and stay. I'm not really a big fan of the these weapons that have the uh, extended butts on them that uh, makes it cumbersome to try to get for them to hold it in their hands like this right here as you can see just uh, a little awkward it doesn't quite fit right so but you can make do with that uh, I also point out that that weapon also has a peg on it so you can trade that stuff out as you like and swap it out and he can go as crazy as you want him to go so all in all uh, this is a pretty good figure actually um, again the uh, crazy large weapon aside the overall base figure is a really nice sculpt got some nice detail work on it and it it does work really well as Destro so yeah I actually like this figure That's it for our review today. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, feel free to drop some comments down below. Subscribe to our channel. Like us. Feel free to share it with others if you think it's worth sharing. Till next time, yo Joe.